This is not a tribute video. This is a video to say thank you. Thank you not just to Kyoto Animation, but also to you guys. Because so many people have done tribute videos to Kyoto Animation and the, the things that they've done. And there are thousands of people who have spread the word about what's happened, uh, the whole event that happened, the arson, the injuries, the total destruction, despair, and for the longest time I didn't know what kind of video to make concerning this tragedy. And it is the biggest tragedy that has happened in anime history. Everything seemed hopeless. But then, as I've spent the past week or so since the tragedy happened to spread the news as much as I could and to spread just the love and passion that I had for Kyoto Animation and the love and support that we all had for Kyoto Animation in the best way possible was enlightening. It was amazing to see that we could all come together and do something like that. So this isn't a tribute video to Kyoto Animation. This is a thank you. This is a way that I want all of us to remember what happened but also for us to move forward and rebuild and help bring Kyoto Animation back to where they rightfully deserve to be. And the amazing part about it is that since the tragedy happened and since all these YouTubers, personalities, people online have spread the news about it, there have been a number of ways that have opened up for us, us anime lovers and lovers of Kyoto Animation, ways for us to help Kyoto Animation come back and to do the best that we can to rebuild. It first started off with the folks over at Sentai Filmworks opening up a GoFundMe, which has at this point surpassed, I think, over $2 million, which is absolutely incredible. And then there were other ways that you could have helped out, such as buying digital uh, art f officially from the Kyoto Animation website. And now, recently, as of this morning, of me recording this, Kyoto Animation have actually opened up an official bank account for people in Japan and internationally to donate directly to the company. Hopefully, with our combined efforts, and hopefully with this universal love and passion that we all have for Kyoto Animation, we can help them see the light at the end of the tunnel. Because for the longest time, it seemed like there was no light at the end of the tunnel. It just seemed like it was the end of the road. And we all thought that. And I thought that. And there was nothing that I could say on camera for the longest time. That I didn't want to come on camera and just lament and just be sad about what happened. I wanted to come on camera to say to everybody that there is a positive that can come out of this. And there is a way that we can turn this tragedy into a joint celebration. A joint celebration for not just what Kyoto Animation has created and given us over the past years in terms of anime, in terms of what they have created with their own hands and their own blood, sweat and tears, but also a celebration to come together as a community, come together as an international community to help them get back to where they were. And 
seeing all the people, especially over on Twitter, where I have, again, been meticulously spreading the news, meticulously helping people be aware of not just what Kyoto Animation was for people like me, but ways that we can help them and why it is so important for us to help them. And so this isn't a tribute video. This is a thank you. This is a thank you to Kyoto Animation for being so strong. This is a thank you to the people in the anime industry who are directly helping Kyoto Animation get back up off the ground. But most importantly, this is a thank you to all of you guys watching this video who have donated, who have spread the word, who have tributed and helped Kyoto Animation remember that they are loved and that there are people out there who really do care for them and their works. I myself have donated to the Sentai Film Works GoFundMe, but once I get back to Japan, since I am currently traveling right now, I will also be donating directly to the, again, recent official Japanese bank account that Kyoto Animation has set up. I'll be donating a sum of money to that as well, because I know that that will be the most direct way to help them. And with all that Kyoto Animation has done for me personally, I not only feel obligated to do it, but I feel that it is necessary to do as somebody who loves anime and is passionate about anime and who talks about anime for a living. And even if you don't do what I do, even if you're not a YouTuber who talks about anime, even if you're just someone who just found out about Kyoto Animation because of this tragedy, it is so important to understand why they are so loved in this community and why even your tiny amount of support, regardless of how much money you donate or whether you donate at all, why that is so, so important to Kyoto Animation. So let's try and move forward because there is a light at the end of the tunnel. I know there's a light at the end of the tunnel because we created it. We as an anime community created a light at the end of the tunnel. And the best thing we can do is to just help make that light at the end of the tunnel feel closer and closer and closer with the day. I've left the links to information on how you can donate to Kyoto Animation. So please check the description of this video. And I will again also be donating the ad revenue generated from this video directly to Kyoto Animation as well. Kyoto Animation, please stay strong because you are loved. And there are people out there who really do want to make you see the light at the end of the tunnel.